At the start of the season, many a first 15 in New Zealand dream of qualifying for the national top four tournament. Well, today, one of these teams will realise that goal. This is the South Island final. The winners of the Miles Toyota Championship, Nelson College, hosting the winners of the ODT Cup, John McGashin College. Kia ora Tefano, nai mai, haere mai, welcome to Nelson. Joining me in commentary this afternoon, former Manusini Samoa International, Taylor Johnson. One metre from the goal line. Really looking for some reward for all their work. Here's Muffy. Again, is it going to be quick? Comes again to Blake. Head down to the line. They've got to hold him up. They do. Good defence there on Malolo, but the danger is not over. Blake comes again. Here's... Oh, he's over. Surely. Matt Lowe. He is. He was so low. They just weren't going to get low enough. And Lowe gets the try. <laughs> and Nelson College opened the scoring. And it is much deserved. Charlie Breen to do the work. Comes back to run this one back and getting out of the tackle too this is terrific this is a good strong run there for the first time McClure has come off his left wing back again Abbott Hoare feeds it on to Cleaver Donovan well good carry from Zach Cleaver Donovan jersey five good pick and go here from John McGlashan feeding again looking to hold the pass and brilliantly holding the pass and through they go and just like that there is the danger of John McGlashan College and then a lovely hold pass. Josh Funger held the pass. And then the fullback Breen, who really started the movement, finishes it. Again, you love schoolboy rugby. They don't kick goals. Let's just go for the go for the maximum. And they just repeat this time. They change the direction and they set the drive and it's charging forward and peeling off and scoring. John McGlashan College go in again. I think it's Abbott. Cleared again to Donovan, Cleaver Donovan. Now they're trying to little kick pass out here to the right winger. It's brilliantly taken by John McGlashan's Sam Cottier. Got up nice and high. And intercepted just like that. <laughs> and Nelson still one. John McGlashan College just got a little bit casual and it has been nicked and trotted 20 metres. Seems to glide, doesn't he? Josh Fanger glides through. Another line-out win here from Zach Cleaver Donovan. He's their go-to. Charging forward here. Terrific run. And up over the advantage line. Abbott comes from distance. Got the headgear on. Five metres from the goal line. Again, it's quick ball. Engelbrick drops the head. Here's Fanger. He's already made a lot of metres. Oh, just a couple of metres again from the line. Back. This is Morton. Building here, uh, John McGlashan, and the halfback goes himself and then plants and scores. Henry Scott. Front, Abbott sets the drive. John McGlashan spinning off as Abbott gets the pass back. Here he is, Funga on the ground. There is a Nelson player over the ball, but off his feet, so he'll have to clear out of there. Scott again. Big moment potentially in this game. Cleaver Donovan, Scott, there's another advantage being played. Head down and charging forward there is the loose set prop. Here's Abbott again. This time we'll go back for the penalty. Discipline a bit of an issue at the moment for Nelson College. So this is a bit of a gift for a goal kicker of Max Hall's quality and he converts that opportunity and so John McGlashan College have a 10-point lead approaching half-time here in Nelson. Varnish being played here too for McGlashan. Here's an opportunity. Here is Malolo. Can he find some support? Bouncing out of tackles. Gets the offload too to the player. And they're getting close to the line. In touch, I think they are. Well, they're over the line. Held up. Matt Lowe was there. Not sure who quite had the ball. McRae. And they're held up. And that is half time. Well, a thrilling finish to the first half. It has been quite the final so far. Half time here at Nelson College in the South Island Top Four final. And it is the visitors, John McGlashan College, that lead by 10. So there's some silverware. Zach Cleaver Donovan in his final year at John McGlashan College. Desperate to finish his time in the first 15 with a trip to Palmerston North for the top four. 
Here's another one of the replacements. This is Keegan Ferguson that Taylor was referring to just a minute ago, the replacement hooker for John McGlashan. Charlie Breen somehow got on the air and carried it forward another couple of metres. Now, Nelson have done a good job on the counter here, and the arm, though, has been outstretched for John McGlashan. Prop forward, James Patterson carries it forward. Presents again for... Hoare oh, chips over the top after this one is Funga and he regathers it too. Oh, terrific work from Funga. And over the line they go. They're up at arms and the try's been scored. Oh, the year 12 student. Look at this. Matt Funga initially caught the pass and look, he's such a tall person as well. So quite easy for him and just there to collect it was Max Hoare, one of the year 12 students as well. So the two year 12 students for John McGashan have scored tries for them. Max Orr, lovely strike. He's got a good goal-kicking style, and that is a successful conversion of his own try. Here's another one of the replacements. This is good from Selmaki. All those ripped by John McGlashan College, and so there's a bit of a danger here. If they can get on the outside, gets the hands free too. This is McClure. Gets round his opposite. Still going is Stanley McClure. Heads back to find some supporters plenty of Nelson players over the ball and the referee says yeah they've done enough and they get a welcome applause from the home fans too Murphy presents again Blake it's good and quick here's Inch needs to pass on the inside does here is Monk Monk still going Monk up to the line almost there is Colby Monk needs to be quick for Nelson they come from distance oh. and the ball's lost forward but there's a penalty though might have been a high tackle it was such a brilliant line run by Monk. It just opened up. You could see that the John McLashan defender shot up, and they've got to go quickly, too. Taking it quickly. This is the right wing of Robertson. There's plenty of John McLashan players there, desperate to hit back quickly here. Uh, Nelson cleared. Head down, almost to the line, spinning again. Back it comes. Here's a try score for the first half, and he gets a second one. Matt Lowe. Look at this, it's the low body position from Matt Lowe. And we're back to a 12 point margin. It's a great looking kick from Zion Ford, the goal kicker for Nelson College. And it is a 10 point ball game again here, the South Island final. Moy Moy has come on and worked hard, the replacement front row, nice and loft on the inside. Here's a chance for Nelson, needs some support though, looks for it. Holds the pass up over the 22. It's collected quickly by Blake. Comes to inch, flat pass on the outside. Here come Nelson again through Ford. Distance is Smith. Whew. Threw himself at the line. Again, it's coming quickly for Blake. Inch, Monk, Malolo. Defense is good though, on the ground. Need it to happen soon, Nelson. Flights the pass. Try scorer from the first half, gets on the outside, shows and goes and goes up and over. And they are over. Thompson scores. Taylor Thompson scores a try for Nelson. And is there still life left in this one, Taylor? Well, our clock says time up, but I don't know. It depends. But they've brought themselves right back into this game and the crowd has find their voice one more time. But look at this. Just a fake to the right-hand side, the change of direction, the right foot step, and Taylor Thompson goes in and scores, and will there be time? Well, it's up to the referee. Our time's up. Question now, is there time for them to go again, or have John McGlashan College done enough? Conversion attempt from Ford is good, and it's over. Referee blows his whistle and heads back to halfway, so we have our grandstand finish. They'll have to restart John McGlashan College. And Nelson be patient enough. Can they build it slowly enough? Or will John McGlashan hold on here and make the top four? Inch, flat pass. Good little bit of footwork there from Jason Epoffel. Holding. Back to the open side they go again. Charging forward as Patterson to make the tackle for John McGlashan. As you could imagine, they're just looking to hold on here. John McGlash not committing too many bodies to the breakdown, not prepared to give a free piggyback. And this is good. Now they're charging. There's lots of players, lots of bodies on the ground, and it's a turnover. A big turnover. Nelson were just building. 
Well, we're we well, and another scrum. well and truly into referee's time here. I don't know if he's remembered that it's 35 minute halves, but we've just heard that it's last play. Dramatic finish. John McGlashan College, one good bit of rugby away from a place at the top four for the first time. Unheralded school, really, in terms of first 15 rugby, John McGlashan College. This is a terrific team, and they are on the cusp here. Can they put together a decent scrum and get rid of it? It comes out, it comes back to Max Hoare, and he bangs it into touch, and off they go. John McGlashan College win the game, and they win the South Island title to qualify for the top four. First time in their history, they are heading to top four. We said it in the pre-match, they have 19 year 13s in that team. It was do or die for them. This was the year that they needed to make top four and they've done it. Terrific effort from John McGlashan College out of Otago. They won the ODT Cup. They have not been beaten in season 2022 and they will have the chance to become the national champions next weekend. Full time at Nelson College. John McGlashan College 29-26 over Nelson College. John McGlashan College off to the national top four.